Uh, I am here today to announce I'm running for Congress. No, uh, no, 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 that was a joke. But I, I don't want to. <laughs> Although, by the way, there is somebody just announced down in Cortland, right? I heard. Yeah, I guess there's something coming today. Um, I'm working to get this individual on the show. Mm-hmm. Heath, uh, where's the name? Heath, Heath, Heath. Democrat Phillips. or Republican? Is, uh, I don't know. And I, mm. I'm curious as that. I, I don't know right. at the moment. Boy, they're coming in early on this I race. I know. I know. It's going to be next year, top to bottom, is going to be a very interesting year. Everybody's saying it's going to be yeah. a, a review of the Trump policies, and it's going to yeah. be a crazy year. But to get to the point, you know, first of all, I don't want to— I have to be clear. This is, this is not an official announcement. No. I don't want to take no, that away no, from the no, his, no, Historical no. Society, but <laughs> uh, but um, we know it's, it's happening. First, I don't want to get off on a negative uh, start here, Bill, but yeah. I was disappointed that you didn't invite me to your wife's graduation party, high school graduation party <laughs> last month. But I do want to say— This is— Practice, practice, practice. Listen, there was a mark. There, this is every time he sees my wife, he's like, oh, Bill, you brought your daughter along. And, uh, now, I got to tell you, there was a Mark Butler moment backstage at the uh, Boilermaker uh, post-race party when um, I won't I won't embarrass her and say who she was, but she was very embarrassed when she said, oh, you brought your daughter along. But she was very serious. Oh. And I'm like, no, that's my wife. And she's like, oh, I'm, a, I'm so sorry. I'm, you know, and don't be, don't. And I'm like, listen, that's a compliment for me. Meanwhile, my wife is like fixing her hair and she's glowing and she just thought it was the greatest thing You're in the world. You're a lucky guy, Bill. No one's yeah. ever, no one's ever so said to you. Ellie, you brought your son, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, you no. brought your son. Your yeah. dad's you brought, here. No, your you dad. brought grandpa. You brought grandpa along? Yeah. <laughs> I That's take that funny. though as a uh, as a uh, as a compliment. You should yeah, you a badge should. of you honor. Certainly should. You yes. certainly should. Okay. And that's good for you. Yeah. But the reason I'm here this morning, and uh, the Herkimer County Historical Society, every year they select somebody whose career is on a downward path. <laughs> That's, save that one. I'd ditch the first one, but I'd save that one. And they do a roast. That's a fundraiser. Thank you, Mark, for that. I appreciate it. And that. Uh, this year's uh, candidate is Bill Keeler. Bill, I have to tell you, the fact that Andrew has started another career should be an indication of where things are heading. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize the roast was already starting. Well, he called to book me the other day, and I thought he was trying to sell me a house. I don't, I don't know about that. But it is, it's a good time, and, it is. and uh, they yes. did roast me a few years ago, and, and uh, Bill was there, and uh, afterward they had to change the ground rules of the thing. <laughs> oh, it was. So this is a, a revenge was, yes. uh, motive uh, here. But, I, the first person I called yesterday yes. when I left there was you, because I said, get ready for revenge. <laughs> and I'm, uh, I'm just here to tell you, you're going to be able to get revenge, because I roasted uh, Mark, and... I used it. Somebody told me this is how this is the roast rules. Yeah. So a roast Central, is a roast. Uh, I, I know. I mean, uh, uh, Dean Martin and uh, all of those type. Of, so I went after him. And, you know, none of that stuff is true. Uh, but it w- 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 was. But they did have a meeting afterward and said they <laughs> needed some ground rules. So yeah. uh, and, you pushed the envelope. Bill. And I didn't get invited back last year. So uh, And now, mysteriously, they want to roast me now. So Well, I think they heard from a lot of people that want yeah. revenge. So, uh, uh-huh. uh, can I yes. just, uh, just a very quick sidebar. Our station does a lot of events throughout the course of the year. One of them was a haunted event around Halloween that we did, and it was at the Herkimer Historical Society. That's where it started. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I ran into a nice uh, young lady there, and I don't remember her name. But we got to talk, and I told her where I worked, and she said, oh, oh, Bill Keeler. And I said, yeah. So we're talking, and she said, well, recently there was a roast of Assemblyman Mark Butler. And I won't tell you what he said, but I don't know if it was appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> she was this sweet little – and I, I laughed hilarious, uh, hysterically because – um, I know that you might push the envelope sometimes. Well, um, we had fun with it, and but I must, did. and we I did. have to say that Mark told me, um, "No, go after me. Don't even, don't." There were a couple of jokes that I ran by you, and you're like, "Yeah, yeah. run with it." And then everybody else had a had a problem. Those were the mild ones that you ran yeah. by him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've done some research, Bill, and I have to commend you. I think you must have a good lawyer because the record's been expunged and a lot. Of <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, well, the good news is for me is most of all of my crap has been out on the radio and in the newspapers. So there's not much. Uh, there's not much you can. Oh boy, I thought about. It. Okay, I, you never know. Yeah. Perhaps Claudia would like to be on the panel. <laughs> that would be awesome. That's actually a great idea. Yeah. I think. I'll bet she'd want to. 
Yeah. Just remember something. Well, maybe something. she'll give me a letter to read anyway. <laughs> I'm sure she will. <laughs> I can see it turning right now. Uh, Roasting by proxy is what it's going to So be. I do have to say this, and this is something to keep in mind. Don't forget, after you roast me, I get the final say. I get to do the final roast. So yes. don't forget that. Okay. Well, you need to announce the time and date and place because I'm sure the uh, RSVPs will be pouring in immediately. I, I, I don't want to give the uh, – thank you. I, I don't want to uh, – <laughs> You might have to move to a bigger venue. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <clears throat> I don't want to say anything more on it. All I know is it's being planned for October, and I'll let them do the rest of it when they're ready to, to secure the location and the exact date. Well, I probably more than many others am looking forward to oh, it very cool. much. Uh, let's quickly talk um, – this was a crazy uh, – this was a crazy session here, yes. this last one around. Uh, and it I, ain't over, it seems. I viewed <clears throat> it as a disappointing end to a disappointing session. I yeah. think our accomplishments were minimal. Are uh, you going to have to? Are they, is he going to call you back for some emergency thing? You think that's still going to happen? They always say that, and generally, yeah. long toward November, we go back to clean up some things. Yeah, but okay. uh, we had that final extraordinary session. And it's interesting because an extraordinary session, only the governor can set the agenda. And, of course, we all had these local bills, the uh, tax, sales tax yeah. extenders and those things. So they kind of hold those hostage uh, over all of us to get get what they want. That's the typical rule. But even at the end of the session, uh, I don't think there was much accomplished. Very little. Yeah. Uh, they did, though, at least put the deal together for Vernon Downs. Vernon Downs, which I think yes. had to happen. Or yes. that place yes. was yes. – I think he was – he was. He wasn't. There wasn't a threat. He's. Uh, I think that's what he said to yes. us. Is I, I'm. I've already informed employees. We'll have to close. Well, I think one of the most outstanding things, and I wouldn't call it an accomplishment, was to raise the age. But again, in typical Albany fashion, they yeah. went ahead and, and did this raise the age of uh, accountability for criminal actions. Uh, uh, without consulting the counties, it'll bring additional costs to right, them. Right. And, uh, they're unhappy with it, but uh, we get these things that just kind of pop out at us all the time. And and like I said, I, I, I think this administration uh, is very much hands-on. They have an agenda, and they want to get yeah, it done yeah. one way or another. And uh, I don't think it's uh, the way a democracy should work. I think well, we should discuss these issues yeah. and, and get through them. And I think we're even seeing it with the hospital downtown. I mean, we've talked about it several times. It, 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 it's I really believe the governor's plan— is to have the hospital downtown in Utica. And I think the philosophy is, which I, I don't completely disagree with, is that it, it, when you bring in potential investors, you, you bring them to, a, to the downtown area and of, your, of your closest, largest city, and that would be Utica for Marcy or wherever. You bring them in and you walk them through a completely transformed yeah. downtown. Yeah. And so that concept is, I, I think that's a good concept. Yeah. Now, at the end of the day, though, um, I, I think that uh, basically the governor said it's going to go down there. Um, it's going to be a part of my plan or it's not going to happen. And that's well, the type of stuff we seem to see from him. Yeah, well, I'm not knocking it, but the uh, general way these things are done is yeah. if you're applying for money, particularly from the state, you have to have a application. You have to have everything in order with this. Boom, just out of nowhere. Here's yeah. five or six million. Why don't you go build yourself a hospital? Go yeah. start planning it. It, it mm-hmm. kind of uh, reversed the way things are ordinarily done. Yeah. And I'm not knocking it. God bless. <laughs> uh, we go to Utica or yep. in Oneida County for our health care, many of us from Herkimer County. But uh, just the way that came about was, yeah, was yeah. just odd. Uh, and how about the uh, the other uh, the, this competition, this um, what? Are, what is it? Hunger Games. The Hunger yeah, Games. Yeah. Uh, the regional economic. Everybody's competing. These regions are all competing. Oh, the and Empire it's a, Games. It's a do or die, <laughs> and the governor's well, up it, there. And, and again, it's game show uh, host. Very frustrating because the definition of what you could apply for is over the years expanded broadly. Right. It was uh, specifically in the beginning, as far as I understood it, for to, uh, you know, encourage economic development and job creation. And now there are public works projects and infrastructure that are uh, part of it. So it's uh, kind of a a, a member item on steroids, if you will, you know, in competition, which the governor seems to be pretty strong at. Uh, However, it does seem, uh, to be fair, it does seem that things are, and I know we're not looking at the number of jobs we were talking about at, uh, at Marcy, but... Hey, uh, it does seem that this company's moved in. They are hiring. 
uh, what's happening in Herkimer County, the pumpkin patch. There are things that are coming together. That's not just Albany's work, though. Right. But it's local well, on the ground here. And you talk about everything. We talked about the comments. There does seem to be a yeah. general... Uh, more positive attitude. Sometimes I think we're always our worst enemy. Yeah, we we yeah. talk this area down, and, and I think there are some things that are starting to come together, and, yeah. and you see it on Main Street in Utica. Uh, so I think we need to uh, continue along those lines, and, and I will give the governor credit. He's he's done a lot for this area. He's been interested and concerned. One of the things that I uh, keep harping on, and there was a, a column in the Albany Times Union a, a few months ago, uh, 2016 was the first year in New York State's history where our population has declined. It was a small mm, amount, yeah. maybe a thousand or so folks. But it's the first time there hasn't been enough in migration in New York City to offset the population we've lost upstate. Uh, Which, I think by the that's way, it could cost us. It is an alarm. It could cost well, us. Well, there's a, a political house. price to be paid with mm-hmm. every disagreeing. We yeah. lose political clout. But behind those numbers is uh, the people that are leaving are the young families, the young people, the productive yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, we have an aging population. We have many people that are staying behind that are on social services, retire, retirees. Yeah. That, that's costing the state more and more money. Uh, our fundamental problem, uh, and you can economic development, and I called it the what the whack-a-mole uh, economic development yeah, yeah. Uh, a few weeks ago, and I, I got a little criticism for that. But I think what we need to do, uh, the general business climate in New York, that's cut taxes, make yeah, it a, yeah. get rid of the regulations. New York has that reputation, and we're at the bottom of every uh, analysis. And it's not going to get better um, right away because we're facing probably the biggest obstacle we've ever faced in our history, and that is this aging infrastructure. Yeah. Um, we're an old state an old infrastructure and water lines and uh, the the roads and the bridges and all of this uh this is stuff we have to we we're gonna have, really have to focus on this is yep. going to be a big deal over the next 10 to 15 years well not to be pollyanna about it but of course all the flooding we've had that's already washed out a lot of these <laughs> roads and ditches and things automatically and getting, we get uh, to start all over <laughs> and by the way we talked to rachel Witter this morning um from uh, eyewitness news and this storm that this next three days yes it's gonna be touch and go right because the same type of storm that went through two weeks ago is coming through again and it's possible they don't uh, they can't predict it but it's po- if we were to get another four inches of rain in a 24-hour period and that's possible with this type of storm yeah it would be horrible yeah i've seen that in the forecast and we're yeah. concerned of yeah. course mohawk valley it's capital v <clears throat> we're at the bottom of a huge valley yep. throughout here and mm-hmm. and it all comes down on us every time we get a storm like that and uh I will say, on a, on a positive note, we had a meeting in, in uh, Herkimer last week, the county, the college, the village. Uh, we all sat down together, and there was a real positive attitude. We, we've we acknowledged there's a problem. We've had studies. We've got a starting point, but uh, we've made a determination we're going to try and come up with a plan to resolve those issues. Is that jail going to come to uh, a, a close? Is there, uh, what, are you, what are your I, thoughts? That's still... Because they could appeal out. one more time, right? They could go uh, yeah. higher? Um, yeah. Uh, well, I lament the um, tons of money that have been spent yeah. in litigation if yeah. they'd have put that in to infrastructure mm-hmm. or, or yeah. done things to move this project along one way or another. I think it would have been money better spent, but that's their issue. All right. All right. Uh, Herkimer County Historical Society, a roast. Mark Butler just can't wait. October they, can't come soon enough. They may have, may have to redo the rules once again. Well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. And, and, and let's wait on October. Can we get two weeks of good summer first before we be talk nice. about October? Yeah, exactly. Please. It would be nice. Two weeks. Uh, okay. Uh, Assemblyman right. Mark Butler, it's always a pleasure. All right. Good seeing Thank you, you guys. Thanks. Thanks.